Sometimes the next level comes with warfare. I was sitting down one day and just started writing and um, everything just started flowing out. And as I was writing it, God told me to read it word for word. And I'm I'm kind of excited about it a little, you know, because there has already been some warfare in the month of January and in February, but it wasn't, it didn't impact me the way it would have a while back. It actually became joyful to me because I felt like I gained another weapon in the spiritual realm. Because a lot of times when you go through warfare, you can gain knowledge and you can gain wisdom of certain tactics that the enemy use and confirmation. So to me, that's a win to me. And I, I wrote a lot of that stuff down. Not in this, but it was it's in another book, y'all. But I was told to read this word for word. Warfare can put us in such a vulnerable state, especially when it seems that everything is falling apart. The mental toll that it can take on a person is unmatched, but there are things that are inside of us that we know nothing about yet, and most of the time we won't know unless we go through something. Okay, vulnerability. What is vulnerability? Vulnerability refers to the quality or state of being exposed to the possibility of being attacked or harmed either physically or emotionally. Um, I'm going to add spiritually, by the way. I'm going I'm to I'm add that in there. And I got this from Wikipedia. Okay. Or being in a position where other people can hurt you. I added that part in there as well, I believe. Being in a position where other people can hurt or harm you. That's a form of vulnerability. That is vulnerability. Because certain de defenses can be a little weak at the time. Our guards start to come down when we are in a vulnerable position. When a person is sick, they are in a vulnerable position. Babies and the elderly are vulnerable. Women can be um, considered to be in a vulnerable position because there are um, certain things inside of us that makes us vulnerable or the lack of certain things that can make us vulnerable. Certain disabilities can put a person in a vulnerable vulnerable state. We have to be careful of the, of the decisions that we make in our vulnerability. We have to be able to pinpoint our times of vulnerability because sometimes we don't even know when we are in a vulnerable position because I've been in a vulnerable state before and I didn't even know I was vulnerable. And I had made a decision based on that vulnerability. I remember this happened when I was a teenager. And I recognized that I was vulnerable after the fact, though. It was like, oh, I was in a vulnerable place. I said, I, I, I'm going to have to start recognizing that. It's crazy that I knew that even then. But there are healthy levels of vulnerability. Just like when I came online in front of thousands of people and told you all what happened to me during witchcraft. I exposed myself in vulnerability to be attacked and I sure did. That show came after me too, y'all. I had to put myself on the front line for attack. I did it for God. I did it for y'all. I did it for myself and other people like me. And at this moment, all I ask is that you all pray for me in return. Your prayers are greatly appreciated because it's been times where God has told me that you all have prayed for me. So I, um, some of you all have prayed for me and um, I have felt and heard somebody praying for me. So thank you so much. All right. So the enemy is always seeking ways to weaken us, to control us, to manipulate us, to annihilate us, to distract us, to torment us and to steal from us. So much so, so much so that I remember I have asked God, why are we even down here with this ratchetness? this foolishness, this fallen world, where it seems that sometimes you have to ask for permission to be happy and find yourself asking, when is enough enough? See, the devil like to put us in those certain mind spaces at times, especially when we are already in a vulnerable state where certain defenses are down. All right, so it is okay not to be seen as the strong one all the time. Don't forget that therapists need therapists too. A lot of times therapists need somebody to lean on to try not to tear a muscle being the strong one all the time sometimes you may have to go off somewhere by yourself and cry it out 
or cry and ask God for help. Sometimes you may have to ask other people for help. The worst thing that they can say is no. And that's tr truly not even the worst thing because that's actually just their choice. Move on to somebody else until you get what you need. Some people may say no because they don't want to be involved. They don't want to do it or they just don't have whatever it is that you need. Either way, that is perfectly fine. They could have things going on in their lives that they are secretly suffering with behind closed doors. Things aren't always what they seem. And he got me to highlight this last line. Things aren't always what they seem. Ask yourself, what is it that truly keeps me going? What is it that keeps me in this fight? You got to ask yourself that sometime. For me, it was the fact that I didn't want to die in such a treacherous and agonizing state. I had been betrayed in the worst way possible, even after being so kind-hearted and nice to people, even when they weren't so kind towards me. I didn't feel that I deserved to die like that, and um, I definitely didn't. I didn't want that to be the end of my story, and quote-unquote, and she died by the hands of a witch, the end. No, not my story. No. I knew that I deserved to live in that state of mind even while i was in torment even while i was in torment i knew that i deserved to live and so do you i woke up every day or every other day surprised that i hadn't made it to see another day most of the time that is what gave me the fuel to keep going like every time i woke up i was like wow i am i am still here after that crazy day that crazy night even after being attacked in my sleep I woke up. I still woke up. And that's what gave me the fuel to keep going. Because I said, obviously, I I can get out of this. I, obviously, I have a chance. Obviously, this is not the end for me. Obviously, I deserve to live. This may not be a good reason for some people, seeing as how they have been through so much pain that they want to end it all. They may feel like they don't have a purpose or a reason to be here. But hear me when I say that that is a lie from the pits of hell. That is a whole lie. That type of thinking is a seed that the enemy has planted in your mind that has started to sprout. The weeds have to be plucked out. Always take a step back, regroup, and look at the things that you still have, not what you don't have. Focus on what you do. Don't focus on what you do not have in this moment, in times of vulnerability especially. Do not focus on what you do not have um, as much in, in uh, vulnerability. Sometimes you can put a little focus there because it may, may be a goal or something, but that shouldn't be your main focus. Usually, when we focus more on the things that we do not have, it sets us up for depression, sadness, and even jealousy or envy. It can shift our focus on what's really important at that moment. And it certainly can. It can shift our whole mindset, our views on life and everything. But seek ye first the kingdom, of, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That is Matthew 6 and 33. Don't be so hard on yourselves. There are so many diabolical tricks and schemes that the enemy utilizes that all of us could possibly fall into you know he has so many tricks and, and schemes and a lot of people don't even know it's a trick or a scheme so don't be hard on yourself if you end up falling into something because you know hey those things they have been here for thousands and thousands of years it doesn't make you slow or illiterate just because you made a mistake so don't let the enemy use that against you either because that is a tactic he also can um use the fact he'll make you think that it's just you, that you're the only one that go through this and all of that. It's like every time I go through something, I hear that too. They try to trick me into thinking I'm. it's just me. It's just me. No, it's not. It's people that's going through way worse or it's people that have just gone through, you know, less. But it's also people that are going through the exact same thing in a different way, in a different environment. Mistakes are oftentimes made in ignorance. Some people are willfully ignorant and others just don't know. But in conclusion, be very careful of seasons of vulnerability. 
The enemy could send something or someone to push you off the edge. Vulnerability can also be the inability to resist a hazard or to respond when a disaster has occurred. And I was told to read this two times. Here it goes. Vulnerability can also be the inability to resist a hazard or to respond when a disaster occurs. Resist the devil and he will flee. So sometimes when you're in seas of vulnerability, it's hard for you to even resist. So like I said, be careful in this season. Try not to be around too much of the of certain, you know, be around certain people for, for too long if you feel like you're just in a vulnerable state. Sometimes you may have to stay isolated until you come out of vulnerability because it'll be kind of, you, you got certain, uh, certain shields are, are a little weak at that time. It sounds like certain degrees of vulnerability can put us in our flesh and place us in stagnation. And that's true as well. Certain vulnerability can put us in our flesh if we're not careful with that. So, yes, I was told to read that word for word. And um, I finally got this out. I've been in a bunch of meetings and things like that. And I did decide to uh, go back to school. So I think this is going to work out pretty good um a little nervous about it just a little bit but i mean i got good feelings about it to be honest so honestly i'm really not worried <laughs> i was told that that's something that i'm supposed to be doing too and i'm glad i was able to come on here tonight i'm gonna go ahead and post the video it's a little late right now it's almost 12 o'clock a.m but it's gonna reach who it needs to reach i hope i wasn't too all over the place but like I said, it's late. It's like the very end of the of the of the day of this day. So I love you guys. Hope that helped y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.